Well, welcome, and today's video will be a tutorial on how to use Handbrake to rip DVDs. Uh, this is kind of targeted to a couple of my family members, but hey, if anyone else can use it, great! Uh, so, there's a few caveats here. First, this is expecting that you've already downloaded uh, Handbrake from the official website. Two, it's also assuming that you've uh, followed the instructions, which I'll post some instructions in the link below, on how to install LibDVD CSS so that you can actually decrypt your DVDs. With that said and done, let's get started. So we're going to launch libdvd, or uh, handbrake, sorry, handbrake, and we're going to look for the dvd drive that has the disk that we want. It will say, it should say something. If it says nothing, then there it, the drive isn't reading the disk, or the disk is not accessible to the program. So in this case, we're going to do Memories, choose the track that ha is kind of the longest. So it's that one. Uh, we're going to go into Dimensions. Optimal for Source. Video, audio, uh, typically add all, but since there's only one audio track, there's not much I can do. Subtitles, let's click add all. And this is one of the benefits of using... The MKV format is that you can add additional file formats, or additional subtitles and additional audio channels. Okay, cool. Uh, Q, is there anything in Q? Nope. Add to Q, hit start, and go. Oh, sweet! It's done! Well, in that case, let's go and check it first. Check the video, see if it ripped okay. It looks like it did. Success! So that is how you rip a DVD using Handbrake. 
Thank you for watching this. If you like this video, give it a like. If you want to see more, donate to my Libra Pay or PayPal.me, which will also be in the link below. Uh, any bit can help and makes these videos better and also helps pay for the equipment that I use for making these tutorial videos. Uh, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.